Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am back with block number four of our log cabin Afghan. If you are new to this series, please go watch the first three videos so you know what's going on. I'll have the link down below in the description box, also in the pinned comment and on the end screen. And if you need a beginner video on just how to start off by making a slip knot and your chain and single crochet, I have a very basic video for that also in the description and in the pinned comment and also on the end screen for that too. I think, yes, I know. So do go watch everything. I'll wait for you. Go, go watch. Okay, you're back. <laughs> we are going to make block number four the same way we made the other blocks. And since you have seen me do enough crocheting, I'm just going to be talking you through this. So do get a piece of paper. I'm going to be making the block and I'll be showing you, but I'm not going to be crocheting on camera at all. It's a lot easier for me to do my crocheting not here with a camera right there between my eyeballs and my hands. I actually crochet and look through the little thing, the screen. <laughs> it makes it complicated. So since I did enough crocheting, I'm just going to tell you how many stitches and stuff you need. Do go get a piece of paper and pencil so you can write down what you need to know for each section. I'm going to just get started. So for this block, we are going to start with a chain of nine and then we will work eight single crochet across and we're going to do eight rows. So chain nine, eight single crochets, eight rows. I'll meet you back here when I'm done. This is what we have. This is section one, eight stitches across, eight rows. We are going to do our chain one with a different color and we're going to turn and we are going to pick up eight stitches along the side, two stitches in each ridge. You're going to use your bars and your bumps to keep it all even, as even as possible. And we're going to work just two additional rows after the pickup row. This is what section two looks like. We did our pickup row, two additional rows, and now we are going to turn and we are going to change colors. We will pick up two stitches here and eight stitches here for a total of 10 stitches and we will crochet two additional rows after the pickup row. We just finished section three. We are going to chain with a new color and we are going to start in this direction. We will be picking up two stitches here eight stitches across this side, a total of 10 stitches, and this time we are going to work six additional rows after the pickup row. We just finished section four. We are turning this way and we are going to work on section five. For section five, we are going to pick up six stitches here, eight stitches here, and two stitches here for a total of 16 stitches and we are going to work six additional rows after the pickup row. You might notice the lighting is different. It is now the next day. When I left off we had completed a section five and that is what this looks like and we are turning and we are going to do section six now. We will be picking up six stitches here, eight stitches here, two stitches here for a total of 16 stitches and we are going to complete just two additional rows after the pickup row. This is what it looks like after section six. Moving on to section seven. We will be picking up two stitches here, 10 stitches across here, and six stitches here for a total of 18 stitches and we are going to complete four additional rows after the pickup row. This is what it looks like with section seven complete. Now we are moving on to section eight. We will be picking up four stitches here, 10 stitches here, and six stitches here for a total of 20 stitches, and we're going to complete just two additional rows after the pickup row. This is what it looks like after section eight, 
And we are moving on to section 9. We are going to pick up 2 stitches here, 16 stitches across here, 2 stitches there, for a total of 20 stitches, and we are going to work 4 additional rows after the pickup row. This is what it looks like after section 9. We are moving on to section 10. We are going to pick up 4 stitches here, 16 stitches across here, 4 stitches at this end for a total of 24 stitches, and we are going to work 6 additional rows after the pickup row. This is what it looks like after section 10. We are doing section 11. There's 14 sections for this block. We are going to pick up 6 stitches here, 18 stitches here, 2 stitches at the end for a total of 26 stitches, and then we will work 4 rows after the pickup row. We just finished section 11. Almost done. Not too many rows to go. Section 12, we are going to pick up 4 stitches here, 20 stitches across here, and 4 stitches on this end for a total of 28 stitches, and we are going to work 4 additional rows after the pickup row. This is what section 12 looks like. Section 13, our next to the last section. We are going to be picking up 4 stitches here, 20 stitches across here, 6 stitches here, for a total of 30 stitches, and we are going to work 4 additional rows after the pickup row. We just finished section 13. We have one more section to go, and it's a quick one. We are going to pick up 4 stitches here, 24 stitches across here, and 4 stitches at this end for a total of 32 stitches and we are going to work just two additional rows and we are done block number four it's hard for me to show you the entire block I'm trying to move back a little bit you'll know what it looks like as soon as you make yours I have 12 blocks done, and that's all I am making for my little lap afghan. You are free to make as many blocks as you want. The next video, we will be putting these together. Now, I've never put together an afghan where I don't do, um, you know, like a border all around, but I don't want to do that. I want to just, um, you know, put them together like this. I don't really want each block to stand out, but I'll be playing with it. Who knows? I might end up putting a border around it if I don't like the way it's coming out. But whatever I decide, you will see that in the next video. So please subscribe so you don't miss it. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!